Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Monday the 13th of November. David Cameron being seen at Downing Street has been enough to lift the FTSE 100 today, up nearly three quarters of a percent and bouncing above the uh, 72, 7300 uh, support band that this market's had since uh, basically the start of the year. We're looking for a journey towards the uh, recent resistance, November resistance around 74.80 and then up to maybe the 50-day line, 75.10 over the next week or so. By the end of the month, if we stay above 7,300, we could be back up to the top of that falling trend channel from February's highs, 76.75 if we play our cards right. RSI is still on the wrong side of 50, so that needs to be addressed before we get the big move higher towards the upper 7,000s. Moving on to the DAX, which uh, had a better week, I suppose, relatively than the FTSE last week. It had the advantage of a bear trap island reversal, so gapping down in October and gapping up to start this month never went even near the uh, top of the gap there, around 15,000. It looks like today could be the day when we break not only the 50-day line at current levels, but also that uh, rather pesky line of resistance from the end of July at 15,300. Above that, we're looking at the top of that falling May trend channel at 15,800 as a target for the end of this month. Ideally, we stay on the right side of 15,000 in the meantime. RSI at 56, which is right in the box seat for further recovery for this market. The Dow has got a similar setup to the DAX. In fact, it's got a better setup than the DAX in the sense that uh, we've got uh, two gaps to the upside unfilled. And uh, here, the bear trap uh, reversal giving those two gaps. And then we've got a basically a bull flag mid-move consolidation at and above the 200-day moving average at 33,800. Above that, we're looking for 35,000 by the end of this month, which would take the market back to where it was basically at the... Uh, beginning of September. This stage only back below 33,800 th 33, would uh, risk a test of 33,500, which is the top of the first gap. Moving on to Bitcoin, where every day is a, an exciting day at the moment. Uh, here you can see that uh, we managed to consolidate near the highest levels, near 38,000, uh, still looking for 43,000 by the end of this month. So uh, plenty of time there for that. And uh, 43,000 based on a resistance line projection from the end of October last year. Uh, we've had our mid-move for consolidation and then the break outside that above 35,000, which was the initial October peak, looking for 43,000 by the end of this month, even though this market is very overbought. We already had a golden cross and unfilled gap to the upside as well, so a strong market indeed at the moment. I suppose one couldn't rule out at least one little uh, tree shake before we head, head to uh, 43,000, but at the moment looks pretty smooth considering the gains we've already had. Moving along to the stocks and starting off with Brave Bison, where uh, there's been a decent move off the lows. Uh, double bottom there around one and a half pence. Uh, bullish divergence going into that, so that suggests that uh, we'll have a uh, push through 1.8 pence, neckline resistance, uh, the middle of the W, so to speak, and then head up to as high as 2.6 pence by the end of the year, by the end of next month. But that bullish divergence, the point of uh, interest there on Brave Bison. On to uh, Conroy Gold with its uh, young thrusting management team. Here you can see that uh, we've had a decent rebound off the uh, lows. A bear trap rebound from below the February support there, 12 and 3 quarters. Above that, we're looking for up to uh, 17 and a half pence, hopefully by the end of this month. And maybe we could get back to the uh, best levels of the year at 20 plus by the end of this year. But uh, at least at the moment, looking just for the 17 pence area while we're above. 12 and three quarters. A stock that doesn't get much uh, airplay either here or anywhere else is uh, Chroma Security, but I think they had an update last week, which was a decent one. Bear trap gap reversal, which is exactly what we want in terms of charting signals. Uh, so the new low and then the gap higher back off to uh, rest above the previous support, in this case around 46 pence. About 46 pence, the initial target was 58. After that, we're looking now for a target near to 70 pence as soon as the end of this month. So a perfect setup there for Chroma. And if you add in the uh, bullish divergence, we've got the whole set there in terms of bulletin board friendly signals. Moving on to Empire Metals, which had an update today. We already had the bear trap gap reversal in the middle of last month. 
Now we are uh, finding support of the 50 day line at 4.3 pence above that looking for six and three quarter pence as soon as the end of this month. On to Eden, which I haven't looked at for a long time, uh, not to a uh, situation which has covered itself in glory since the summer, obviously, but it looks like we're breaking out of this falling wedge from back in uh, September at around 4.6 pence above that, looking for 7 pence as soon as the end of next month or even sooner. Moving along to uh, Gulf Keystone, which uh, I suppose was a charting win in the sense that uh, we had the uh, break of that uh, triangle formation and the 50-day moving average around 104 uh, back in September and we basically uh, held that area ever since. We're consolidating above a rising 50-day line so that's a si sideways shuffle that is uh, famous here and above recent resistance 127 looking for up to £1.60 by the end of next month and obviously this is uh, from June till now a beautiful inverted head and shoulders in fact it's a double-headed uh, inverted head and shoulders there on the Gulf Keystone chart but uh, crunch time now when we can uh, or if we can break that 200 day line we haven't been above that 200 day line since uh, back in uh, July or August last year so uh, quite a change there and an unfilled gap to the upside today so we're looking pretty good there for Gulf at the moment even though the oil price is down Moving along to good energy and here that V-shaped bull flag breakout. We already had the golden cross last month. And that suggests that uh, above the 260 area, we're heading up to 320 as soon as the end of this month. In fact, the way things are going looks very strong indeed on uh, good energy at the moment. Haven't looked at Macango for a long time, so uh, here it is. And uh, looks as though we've got a solid base there, uh, multi-tested support there at eight and a quarter pence, let's call it. Above that, looking for at least the 200-day moving average at 10 and three quarters by the end of this month. The 200-day line has been the resistance for the shares since the beginning of the year, so that should at least be the minimum. And obviously after that, look for the old August peak at 12 and a half. But uh, let's see if Macango has hit the bottom. On to Poolbeg, which has beefed up its board and share price at the same time, looking very strong indeed. We've got the 50 and 200 day lines both rising, so the next time they cross will be a golden cross. The run up to a golden cross tends to be the strongest part of the cycle, and it's already been that. Above uh, 9 and 3 quarters, looking for up to 11 and a half, which would take the shares back to where they were in the summer of 2022. Not expecting any price action now back below the uh, August resistance, 8.6 pence. Another stop which hasn't been covered here for quite a while is RUA and uh, here the broadening triangle base and uh, the unfilled gap to the upside give us a potential bear trap gap reversal above the floor of the gap at the moment 13 and a half pence looking for up to 24 pence by the end of next month or hopefully even sooner than that. Finishing off with Sciatica which uh, had a decent update today another bear trap gap reversal situation. Um, the view is above the floor of the gap there at 19.6 pence. We're looking for up to, well, at least initially 30 pence, which was the old September floor, and then up to 40 pence by the end of next month if everything goes right on that situation. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.